Hello, I'm Claytab. Today, let's go into nuclear energy world and know more details about principles of nuclear power stations and nuclear generation. Nowadays, nuclear power generation has been widely used because nuclear energy has great advantages that other energy does not have. Its core advantages are as follows. Low cost of nuclear power generation. Nuclear energy is clean energy. Nuclear energy is almost unlimited. Nuclear energy is stable and not limited by other natural conditions. Before finding how can it generate electricity, firstly, let's talk about uranium-235, the fuel required for nuclear power stations to generate electricity. The only fissionable element in nature is uranium-235, which accounts for only 0.7% of natural uranium, and the rest is uranium-238. Uranium reserves refer to the reserves of uranium resources available for exploitation. The nuclear fission energy contained in the uranium reserves is far greater than the whole energy of all fossil fuels on the Earth, even including methane clathrate. In this way, the reserves of nuclear fuels far exceed those of fossil fuels, which can meet the needs of nuclear power generation for a long time. Uranium can be found in soil, rocks, rivers, and oceans, and it is not difficult to mine but enriched uranium is only found in a few places. While oil can be used for industrial production and utilization immediately after dug up, uranium-235 required for nuclear energy can only be obtained by various delicate processes. To make it easier for natural uranium fission, there is a key step. Uranium enrichment, which increase the content of uranium-235. The whole preparation can be summarized as following steps. First, the uranium ore is crushed and chemically treated to separate uranium, which is called processing. This process will produce the so-called yellow cake, that is, the powdered form of uranium fluoride, uranium octaoxide, through which uranium can be converted into the form to be enriched. After that, uranium fluoride is converted into uranium hexafluoride, which is then entered into a centrifuge. When operating the centrifuge, heavier uranium-238 is thrown to the side of the barrel so that the content of uranium-235 in the middle of uranium hexafluoride is greatly increased, and then converting the enriched uranium hexafluoride into uranium dioxide powder. Finally, the uranium dioxide powder is loaded into small cylindrical pellets and then put into metal tubes. In this way, the metal tubes are made into fuel rods and the nuclear fuel that can be used for the power generation and operation of the nuclear power station is obtained. After talking about nuclear fuel, let's officially move into how nuclear power stations generate electricity. First of all, clearly, as we have learned in physics class in middle school, that we human beings use various forms of energy is essentially energy conversion. Well, nuclear energy is no exception. Nuclear energy is essentially similar to that of traditional thermal power generation in the form of energy conversion. Heat energy is generated by fuel, and then the steam drives the turbine generator to rotate, thereby converting the mechanical energy converted by heat energy into electrical energy. In fact, it looks like boiling water in a fancy way. To understand how to boil the water, the key is the nuclear reactor, which is the core device to realize nuclear power generating. Nuclear reactors can be divided into fission reactors and fusion reactors. Because humans have not yet fully mastered the fusion reactor technology, we will focus on fission reactors. Today, all commercial nuclear power stations and naval reactors put into use are fission reactors. In the future, we can do a separate episode to explain the fusion reactor. Fission reactors and commercial nuclear power stations have been developed for four generations, but they are essentially the same. The reaction principle is based on, nuclear energy is a form of energy released from atomic nuclei composed of protons and neutrons. This energy can be generated by nuclear fission, it is a reaction in which an atomic nucleus splits into two or more smaller atomic nuclei and releases energy. The formula is uranium-235 plus neutron produce barium plus krypton plus three neutrons. Generally speaking, it is to impact uranium-235 with neutrons and then generate two other substances and three neutrons. The three neutrons continue to impact uranium-235. More neutrons are generated to impact, forming an avalanche effect, which is called a chain reaction. At this time, the mass of reactants will be greater than products, resulting in so-called mass loss. 
Einstein's mass energy equation tells us that once there is a mass loss, energy will be released. The released energy is embodied in the form of thermal steam, and then used to drive the generator, so nuclear power generation is realized. The energy output of nuclear power stations is focused on devices inside the reactor and used for cooling and power generation devices. At present, the mainstream nuclear reactor in the world is light water reactor, which is divided into boiling water reactor and pressurized water reactor. Take the most widely used pressurized water reactor as an example. First, in the reactor wrapped by the containment, the fuel rods containing uranium-235 are in the middle, and cold water is injected from the outside. Water is used as coolant to cool the reactor and take away heat. After hot water flows out, it can be used as converted energy to generate electricity. At the same time, neutron moderators are placed around the fuel rods. Moderators are used to decelerate neutrons. Ordinary water is usually used as moderator in light water reactor. The moderator makes it easier for neutrons to better impact the rod to produce a stronger reaction. In addition, as a very critical component, the control rod is inserted into the reaction area up and down to control the reaction, which is equivalent to breaking. The control rods of light water reactor are from top to bottom, which are made of boron or other materials that can easily absorb neutrons. When the reaction is too intense, the control rod is inserted to absorb neutrons and reduce the reaction rate. If the reaction rate needs to be accelerated, pull up the control rod. In case of emergency, the control rod should be fully inserted to stop the reaction. The whole system of pressurized water reactor is composed of three circuits, primary, secondary, and cooling circuit. The reactor vessel is a primary circuit, in which the temperature of water can be as high as more than 300 degrees Celsius during power generation. But at this time, the water cannot be changed into water vapor, so the pressure in the vessel is increased to 150 atmospheres, so that the water does not boil. Then, the heated water will transfer heat to the heat exchanger, where the heat will be transferred to the circulating water in the secondary circuit. If the pressure here is only 70 atmospheres, the water will boil and become water vapor. At this time, the water vapor is transferred to the cooling circuit to drive the turbine, thereby generating electricity. Finally, the electricity is output through the generator, transformer, and transmission line. This is the operation of nuclear reactors. The thermal energy generated by the nuclear reactors is the essential difference of power generation between nuclear power stations and hydropower stations, wind power stations. In addition, the application of nuclear power stations is basically the same as those of other types of power stations in terms of principles of driving the turbine unit rotating to generate and transmit electricity. However, the layout of nuclear power stations has its own unique settings mainly because of the particularity of safety, geographical location, and other aspects. Take Peach Bottom Atomic Power Station, the third largest nuclear power station in the United States, located in Pennsylvania, as an example. First of all, the construction of this nuclear power station depends on the river. This is because no matter what type of reactor nuclear power station, it needs a lot of water to cool. A 1 million kilowatt nuclear power station needs 10 to 12 cubic meters of cooling water per second. Therefore, most nuclear power stations are built near water. Peach Bottom Atomic Power Station belongs to the type of boiling water reactor and light water reactor, which is composed of two reactors. In terms of particularly important safety, the nuclear power station adopts multiple physical barriers to further ensure safety. In the reactor, solid ceramic uranium pellets are used as fuel, and the particles are sealed in metal fuel rods. Fuel rods are made of metal alloy zirconium, which is heat-resistant, radiation-resistant, and corrosion-resistant. These rods are bundled together to form a fuel assembly. The reactor core is located in the reactor vessel, and the steel wall thickness of the vessel is about 16 centimeters. The reactor vessel is located in the containment structure made of reinforced concrete and is about 13 centimeters thick. All of these are located in the reactor building, and the whole square building is made of 1 to 1.5 meters of reinforced concrete. As for the nuclear waste discharged, Peach Bottom Atomic Power Station, as one of the 80 nuclear waste stations in the United States, has stored 80,000 tons of nuclear waste, all of which are placed in the dry-type storage station near the river. 
In addition, the control room of the power station is located in the building in front of the reactor building, and the power transmission device is located next to the reactor area to ensure the smooth output of power. Extensive construction of nuclear power stations to build a renewable and clean energy ecology is of far-reaching significance to the sustainable development of mankind. Today, the safety and power generation efficiency of nuclear power stations have been continuously improved with the development and progress of technology. As a clean and sustainable energy supply form, nuclear power generation is still expanding rapidly, and its prospects are still very broad. Well, that is all for today. I'm Claytab, and welcome to a wonderful world next time.